Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Fortnite tips and tricks video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do more damage with shotguns after the nerf, covering everything to do with that. I think you guys will 100% enjoy this video, but before we get into it, I actually have a sponsor for this video at Bounty and I have a brief message from the sponsor and then we'll get right into the tips and tricks. Today's sponsor is App Bounty. Now what App Bounty is, it's an application you can use to earn free gift cards that you can use for PSN cards, Xbox cards, you could return for V-Bucks or you could also get iTunes cards, Amazon cards. The rewards on here are absolutely huge and they are very customizable to what you want. The best feature from this app for the most value is the play and earn, which allows you to download apps, leave them open for a certain amount of time, collect points that you can use to then exchange those points for rewards. Now use the link in the description to download this app for quick access. You also get a bonus 50 starter credits. Also input my code THEGOBLIN if you are prompted and asked for a bonus entry code. It will be THEGOBLIN, no spaces. Definitely check out this app and start to use it if you want to earn yourself some gift cards link in the description all right what is up guys it's the goblin now shotguns have been nerfed in a fortnite and they have been nerfed pretty hard however all this did was change the meta and if you're smart about it you can still make shotguns a priority make them the best guns in the game and do huge damage with these shotguns it just is a little bit more difficult and i have some math and st statistics to back it up i'm gonna cover everything in today's video smack a like on this video let's go for 805 likes you guys seem to love when i do these shotgun tips videos so if you guys can smack a like on this thing subscribe to the channel if you guys are new we're on that road to 300,000 subscribers and uh just the support has been amazing so thank you everyone for the likes all that sort of stuff um i'm, I'm able to do this because of you guys and because of all your support it's just been absolutely insane so i want to thank you for that let's get into it okay what happened with the shotguns the shotguns were recently nerfed and more specifically they hit the pump shotgun with a pretty big nerf like, like actually a really big nerf and then they hit the tack shotgun with a, a a nerf as well now let's go through what was nerfed because the pump shotgun and the tack shotgun were probably one and two on priority list before this nerf but this has completely shifted the meta now with the pump shotgun the headshot multiplier was reduced from 2.5 to 2.0 meaning that if you hit a headshot for the max damage with everything you can only do double the damage that you would to the chest instead of 2.5 times the damage it was also nerfed the pump shotguns were nerfed by 10 damage to the body which of course multiplies to 20 headshot damage um, and that would be from they went from 90 95 for of course the green and the blue green does uh, five damage less than the blue to 80 85 so the pumps got hit with a really really big nerf and that's what happened to them as well we also had the tack shotgun hit with a nerf what the, what the tack shotgun got hit with is that the headshot multiplier was reduced to two from 2.5 to 2.0 now this was crucial because shotguns one of the reasons why they were so strong is because they were the only guns in the game uh, that have or, or the only close range guns that have that 2.5 multiplier so that was a huge nerf to the shotguns and as of now the meta has been shifted if you guys notice, when I'm reading the patch notes out, I mentioned the pump, I mentioned the tack, the heavy shotgun was not nerfed. And before I'd say the heavy shotgun was sort of below them as a mix of both, but now that the heavy shotgun was not nerfed, it allows the pump shotgun and the tack shotgun to do 2.01 headshot damage, while the, uh, the heavy shotgun remains at that 2.5 ratio. Now, if you guys don't know, if you guys want to do more damage with shotguns, even after this nerf, you have to be aiming for the head. If you're not aiming for the head with shotguns, you will begin destroyed by people who are. And that's the number one tip and probably the hardest thing about this game is why you have to play consistently is to make sure you can lock down that aim and make sure you can hit that head which is of course a smaller hitbox than the body and that's how you can become a shotgun god and do more damage in this game but that comes down to practice tips and tricks now it comes down to math what you're going to prioritize as your loadout now certain people like myself usually will prioritize two shotguns in my loadout a lot of people when i live stream usually ask why do i do two shotguns it's simply for the fact that i need to switch you know pump to tack maybe i go heavy to tack maybe i go pump to heavy there's a bunch of different combos the one thing you have to remember while running double shotguns is that the pump is very slow to pull out and the heavy and the tack are very fast to pull out so that is another nerf that was hit to the pump quite a while ago and that's another thing that makes the pump not as good as the other shotguns statistically now let's go through the math now on these shotguns with the heavy shotgun what you have is you have a max of well you does 73.5 damage with the purple 77 damage to the body with the gold now if we do some quick math i got my google math calculator up here if we do 77 times 2.5 
the heavy shotgun can hit enemies upwards of 193 damage, which is absolutely insane. 192.5 damage rounds up to 193, I believe, in game or 192. I'm not sure if they round up or down. But basically, that is the most possible damage you can do with any shotgun with one shot. It is with the heavy shotgun, 192. What this means is this is huge because the fact that before, the pump used to hit for 237. Now, with the nerfs to the pump, with the damage nerfs, as well as with the fact that we are getting nerfs to the... Um, to the, the uh, multiplier, all you can do with the pump, with the blue pump, your best shot will do 85 times two, which is 170, uh, which isn't nearly as good as you it would do before. Same thing with the tax shotgun. The tax shotgun does 74 damage. So if we got 74 times two, you're gonna be doing 148. So what you need to know about these numbers, these numbers you may think, oh, this is math, it doesn't matter, it's all about skill. These numbers do matter. If a person is at 150 health, the most common healths in this game are 100, 150 and 200 right so at 150 health you can one shot a person or at 100 health you can one shot a person with attack headshot um with with the specific attack with pretty much any of the attacks if you're accurate and hit them dead on with a uh with a person who has and that, that also depends with shotguns because you have to hit them for, with all the pellets there you saw in the gameplay i hit a guy for 77 and then for 128 because it just depends on how many pellets you hit out of the shotgun you can one shot a person with 100 with attack with 150, you can one-shot them with a pump, and with 200, you cannot one-shot them with any gun. Now, this changes things. This puts a more priority on running the double, and if you want to do more damage in this game, you have to do a couple of things. Now, what this meta has shifted is the first thing. You have to run heavy shotguns. The problem with heavy shotguns is they're insanely good right now. The fact that you can run double heavy shotgun and swap between them almost instantly is like a throwback double pump, and the fact that they do the most damage with, or, or, not, or the most damage with, uh, not the slowest fire rate makes the heavy shotguns much much better than the pumps as of right now problem with heavy shotguns is and I think this is what the epic games designed it to be they only come in purple and gold and they only come out of chests or from you know when you kill a person who got from a chest so they are very rare to get what you want to do is you want to prioritize heavy shotguns nowadays 100,000% whenever you see a heavy shotgun you should be taking that as your first or second shotgun now the reason why I say first or second is because the heavy shotgun Shotgun to the tack is a very good combo, but the fact is that the heavy shotgun um, is, is a faster one to pull out. So if you have a pump, you want to go pump first to the heavy shotgun, even though that lowers your damage because it increases your agility and makes you faster. So you want to go pump into the heavy rather than heavy into the pump. But the ideal uh, thing you want to get is two heavy shotguns, and that is simply for the reason that you can double pump it super fast. However, that is very rare. I've seen, I've been watching and studying what pro players are doing. Um, TS SM Daquan, who is one of the most notable top shotgun players in the game, he is going just completely for heavy shotguns every single time he can, and I think that is the right idea. Now, this doesn't mean don't go for your, your tack or your, your pump to tack combo early game. You got to take what you can get early game. The idea is that you kill enough people and you get that double heavy shotgun, and you are at a, a, a severe advantage. So even though shotguns were nerfed in this latest patch, if you are a player who plays aggressive, who gets a lot of kills and can find those heavy shotguns, you will be 10 times more comfortable in the late game knowing that these nerfs weren't just for you they were for everyone you won't be able to get one shotted from 200 health and you can simply you can't one shot a person but you can go do a boom boom switch with the heavy it literally is that fast and it's almost as fast as a one shot and that's what you want to do now other tips to do more damage with shotguns of course you have to prioritize and you have to use these different shotguns right prioritize heavies um, and then blue tacks blue pumps those are those are still good as well and you have to organize them always run two you, to do more damage also you have to get down those headshots it's more crucial than ever I, I wouldn't say it's more crucial than ever because it was actually nerfed but it still is super crucial those body shots are just they don't do the job especially with a weaker uh, uh, gun I hit a guy with four tactical uh tactical um the blue tack shotgun shots and he still survived with like 20 health those aren't as reliable you need to make sure you are hitting for big numbers for headshots and what i mean around shotguns is the fact that they shoot pellets it doesn't mean that you're going to hit for these numbers every single time this is the ideal situation if a person is farther away or if a person is uh you aren't hitting them clean on you're going to do even less damage than this which makes it more important than ever to have that good accuracy and just make sure you're hitting all of your pellets now that is 100 what i would say as far as doing more 
more damage. You have to remember, these shotguns also vary over range. Pump shotgun has the most range in the game. Then you have the heavy coming in at the right behind it with a really good range as well. And then the tack is absolute garbage at range. So you have to know that. You have to understand when you're hitting people and the numbers popping up, why that is happening. Pump shotguns are still great at long range. Heavies are basically great all over the place. The most overpowered shotguns right now. And tacks should 100,000% stick to close range only. Tacks are still awesome. And I love the blue tacks. Probably one of my favorite SMGs. Or not SMG shotguns. Right now, I mean, it's probably the, the gold heavy is now my favorite after this latest update. But before that, it was the blue tack. And I still think tacks are good because they have the fastest fire rate. They are good if you're up close in a room with a person at Tilted Towers. They can be very, very strong. However, when you get out in those open, in those build fights, in those ones where you really want to crack a person for high damage, nothing will be nearly as good as the heavy shotgun or the pump also to do with range. So hopefully this video did help you guys out on how to do more damage with shotguns. I wanted to update you guys because everyone has been talking about the shotgun nerf, asking me my opinions, asking me, hey, how come the shotguns kind of suck now? I'm hitting for lower damage. That's going to happen. That's natural. That's what the patch update came with, but there is some ways to counteract it. And you have to know what to prioritize. Make sure you're carrying two shotguns at once. Prioritize heavy shotguns, no matter what they are, purple or gold, and uh, make sure to hit those headshots to get more damage. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys could smack a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. Um, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Hope you guys all have a great night, and that's about it, guys. I'm out. Peace.